What's up, y'all? It's Grant back here with another episode of The Groovy Files, and today I'll be talking about a very reoccurring topic in hip-hop and just with J. Cole, just in general. And one of those things is For Your Eyes Only, and people talking about, oh, what is J. Cole's best album? Is it uh, Four Seal Drive? Is it Born Center? Is it Sideline Story? Or is it For Your Eyes, For Your Own, For Your Eyes Only? Um, and I'm going to go on the hill that it is his best album, but for these main reasons in particular, number one, I feel like what a lot of J. Cole albums try to do is that they either, they either try to be too much of, okay, too conceptual and it's not the, the concept isn't executed right, or it's just Cole doing what he's usually doing best, it just done best in the past since since Friday Night Lights, and there's nothing wrong with that, but people always wonder, oh, is it stale or things like that, but I believe, I believe For Your Eyes Only is Cole's best written album, and honestly, one of Cole's best attempts at a concept album um, in his entire career. Um, now, one of the big things for For Your Eyes Only is that I don't think, uh, I think him kind of discussing like the timeline would be okay. Hey, I the topic of love from him beating his first love to the birth of his child to him talking about how he got raided by the police and then talking about how much um talking about his uh fuck I don't forget um talking about. You know, just summing, all, summing up all the events at the very end of the album um, makes it really, makes it very solid and intact for me. Like, the thing with kill, with um, KOD was is that yeah, I feel like it was poorly executed. It was a poorly executed album because you can't start off the album just mocking, doing just poor renditions of what you think, quote unquote, mumble rap is. And then halfway through, it's like, okay, this is some of the best rapping you've ever done. So I feel like that hurt that album a lot. But For Your Eyes Only, um, I think my only big knock towards it is that the pro the production on it is so small. Or not small, but like so uh, minimal that it really takes away how good the writing on there could be. Like, I just, it's just plain, it's just plainfully uninteresting the thing is with four first hills drive and like born center even with those albums i feel like okay cole is at least keeping me interested on that front and it hurts the album because i feel like the writing on this one is just very solid and some of cole's best but another um well cole the reason why i think this album is just so is one of cole's best is that it's what Writing wise, what Cole does best is that okay, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna give you the interest, uh, introspective view of my life versus his his commentary on other certain issues usually kind of falls flat to me, or he can't really do it without kind of sounding snarky a bit. Like for example, with um, the whole KOD rollout, it was or like the whole KOD rollout or the whole um, platinum with no features thing. I'm kind of glad that he let that go because it was kind of hurting his music. Uh, whereas, even though on uh, For Your Eyes Only, he was he didn't really adopt that whole yeah platinum with no features thing. It was really just mainly focused on okay, this I got story to tell. This is my life. This is this is my world through my eyes. So I feel like that's a big reason why I take a liking to that Cole album over a lot. The only knock against it is production to me. But in short, I feel like with with Cole, where he's at in his career now is that I'm not gonna say he's in a second prime, but I'll say that a lot of his music is he's going back to the basics, and there's nothing wrong with it. Like. He's going back to what he did in the very beginning of his career. And he's not locking into a certain topic on albums, but he's giving us the best of everything that he used to do on 
Friday Night Lights or the warm up. Like, okay, I can give you this type of song or I can give you this type of song. I can show you all what makes me a somewhat versatile artist. Um, but that's pretty much all I got for this episode. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Y'all be easy.